Check. Well, hello, hello. One, two, three. All for one and one for all. Be done. I'm Tom Burke playing Athos. I'm Howard Charles. Je suis Portas. I'm Luke Pasqualino and I play D'Artagnan. I'm Aramis and I'm an alcoholic. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Santiago Cabrera. I play Aramis. So we're having a boot camp this week. Uh, it's also an assessment week to see how good they are. We will start at ground zero. They're all quite young and they're all pretty enthusiastic, so I'm sure it's going to be a good week. First of all, I will show them the basic stuff around the horses. I'd love to take them for a hex out into the beautiful woods around and try to teach them as much as I can this week. The more confident they will be on the horses, the better for me. And for the boot camp, I chose local horses, which they've been used for movies before, so they are quiet. They've done loads of stuff with non-experienced riders. I think last time I was on a horse, I don't think I was as fit in my lower body. And I've really noticed how much of a difference that makes when you can actually control what your legs are doing and not just abandon them as you're thrown about. <laughs> Can you not have fun, dude? This is amazing, you know what I mean? Riding horses all day. That was good! <laughs> OK, let's, let's try again. I've got a lovely horse, his name Flip. Um, thankfully, he's not like the name, but um, really, really just easy horse and uh, both mixed race, and it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it's good fun, it's kind of really nice. It's enjoyable, that's the most like, important thing about it as well. It's nice to be out there with the boys as well and see, you know, all be out there together and learning together. So the camaraderie starts. I was quite impressed. I thought it will be worst, and I think we managed to do a little bit of shot work, and I think the guys did really well. So hopefully, at the end of the week, they will be cantering around, and we will all be happy. Best food for me, you know what I mean? Just feeling off it. More exhausting than what I thought. But I feel, I feel the right leg already, the weight goes on the right leg. But uh, it's good, it's a good workout. Yeah, we've definitely started as we mean to go on. Like everyone that's basically teaching us everything from horse riding to the sword fighting, and you know, is on point. They don't let you get away with anything, you know. If you're not holding your hand right by a couple of millimetres or something, then they're straight on you, which is exactly what we need, because yeah. otherwise you're going to look mediocre. I can definitely see myself feeling this tomorrow, for sure. I, I was actually wondering, I don't know what you guys thought, but like, because it's one arm that you're all <laughs> Yeah. I'm thinking, like, do <laughs> no I try to balance it out? You know what I mean? We're going to yeah. end up like Rafa Nadal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mandarin in my pocket this morning and he went straight for it. They're clever, okay. yeah. I would like to see their steps, their skills about the wrist and hand holding the swords. It means some cavazione. and stesso tempo.
you know that's the special names of the tricks. If we can see some technique of a fight, it will be nice. I'm primarily relieved because when they said boot camp, I did think it might involve press ups at dawn and running around with a backpack full of bricks. <laughs> and I thought phone calls would be happening. And they've been doing this for years. So, you know, when we were stabbing the guy's hand earlier, I was going, I don't want to hurt you. And he's like, no, 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 do it, do it. I was like, going really light. And he was like, more, more, more. None of the stunt guys have that mad look in the eye that occasionally stunt men have, where you go, hmm. <laughs> You got into this because you like to set fire to things, but it's illegal. <laughs> None of them have that look. They all look quite calm, solid individuals at peace with themselves and the world, and that's good. When you've got a sword coming at you. They are very young and they are growing very fast. I know that that's not a lot of experience with the fighting with the swords, with the rapiers, but I can see that I will show something and they are making almost same very fast. We're just getting up at half six in the morning and and having like, you know, 20 minutes for breakfast and then we're off and we're on a horse and we sword fight. It's intense, that level of intensity has been surprising, but in a good way, you know, good good surprise because um, you don't want to be let off the hook. You want to be, you want to be doing it properly. The guys will start to be feeling a little bit sore, a little bit achy, a little bit tired. So we've got to monitor that. I don't want to be too easy on them. I don't want to be too hard on them. Judging by today's rehearsals, I think we are on the way to getting our four musketeers. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like a fight. <laughs> Start with my head back and then the head pull the body backwards. I'm teaching actors how to fight, how to fall down, how to do the somersault, everything what we will need in this movie. So, yeah. so you go like all the stuff I did at drama school in terms of stage combat is coming back. I mean, shoulder rolls. I haven't had to do one of those in a long time, but remembered it very quickly. If you then cut to a shoulder roll, use a good one. Just don't make me look stupid. Really good at shoulder rolls, cut to. There's a complete lack of ego. I don't feel like we're being treated like actors necessarily. The other guy standing in front of you with a sword and he's going for you, then you have to block it. The guy standing in front of me was just like, you know, like, try and hit my face and I'm trying to hit yours. And that's good, because otherwise you're not going to learn. You know? It's ingraining it in mm. you, you know, it's the repetition of it also. Yeah. And when we, we, you know, when we bring the characters into it, this is second nature, so I think that's yeah. really important to be going through that. It's, it's good to start here rather yeah. than, you, you couldn't build a character and then do this. Yeah, so start, it's so start with yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. And then you can start thinking about, mm each particular style and yeah, all that. Yeah, absolutely. We've, we've all seem to gel pretty well and we've all got something majorly in common now. Mm -hmm. We're all doing this and we're going through this experience and we're having this experience together. I love that we're doing the boot camp. I think it's, it's fantastic and it's really, it's necessary. It's very helpful, you know, for us. You are not having a sensitive hand then the horses go backwards or they rear I was just saying to Steve before that, that's sort of one of the reasons of being active. You get to do so many different things, you know. And you can take the two out. Yes, I, I'm definitely going to get to that. Yeah. Or yeah, I, I, I'm finding it harder to find the poo at the moment. Yeah. Apart from when it's obvious. When you find, when you find little bits. Yeah. Do you try and get them all together? No. And then do you leave the odd little bit? This is for when you're up at the Oscars in ten years' time. This is what they play for. I just want to say thank you to Petra. This is our, yeah. this is our acceptance video. It's, it's a healthy food. Of course, it's very nutritious, yeah. Just Wouldn't have it with your eggs in the morning, though, would you? But, yeah. No. I'm just dressing up, just putting everything on. Gives you a different relationship with the horse already. And you see the reality of what they're doing every morning, clean, stable, and uh, yeah, feel more comfortable around it, really. Very tentative at first. 
Like Spanish. I wondered how many different walks there okay, were. Okay, like a moonwalk. Yeah, yeah a moonwalk yeah, would be great. Yeah, yeah. If you forget I was the moonwalk. <laughs> well, you can try this afternoon. It's just one of the great things to do in life is get on a horse. It's like swimming in a freshwater stream or something. It's just, it's just a great thing to do. We don't have a chance really to think do you know what I mean? So you, you're, you just have to get on with it. And I mean, that's how boxers are trained. You just, you, you, you're so tired that you actually can't reflect at all. You're just going through these motions. And I think if we, if we filmed ourselves on, the, on day one and then filmed ourselves again on the day five, we'd be like, damn, but we, we probably don't realize yeah. how much progress we've made because it's just mm. constant, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, you can tell him punch, punch, or whatever. <laughs> what, what? Go. Ne tak blízko. Well, Roman and his team, they're kind of like musketeers, actually. But I think they're how everyone would kind of envisage a musketeer. They're very good at what they do and very open, but very serious. They don't let us rest on our laurels. We keep pushing it, keep pushing it. They're all champion sword fighters and, th and things like this. So it's like, you know, they all know what they're doing. And every single one of them gives different advice in different ways, but all of it is welcome. And it's just, you're just surrounded by people who really know what they're doing. And block on the second. This sounds odd, but when I wake up and I've got a day to myself, I wake up going, yeah, I got a day to myself, I do whatever I want. Always the worst day. I like to know exactly what I'm doing. I like, be I like being told. I'm not saying I'm not a maverick. Ultimately, um, I sort of know that I function quite well like that. You are removing any trace of the will that will from our lives. I really enjoy that you get to learn completely new experiences, not only of the time, but of you know what they did. Mentally, I've already prepared myself to be in that zone, in that space of really embracing the fights and the choreography. So the the purpose of the hack is that the guys get more balance on the horses. We pass people on the bicycles, we pass cars, we pass wild animals in the forest, so they've got to use their brain and think about it. You know, the kids might run across the street, they need to kind of be prepared, the horse might spook or jump sideways. And it's a pleasure. ways to spend a day than going you know, on a beautiful trip in the countryside. Just think about these guys taking hours on end journeys and you just go, you know, you do that an hour and you're feeling it. And it was just a, a beautiful, beautiful ride. It, it looks a bit like a at certain points. Blown away. Blown away. It's, it's physically demanding but it's uh, quite rewarding. And every now and then you'll hit a sweet spot. You are like, yeah, this is it. Especially with trotting. You kind of like you got to kind of slow down, get right, and then and then speed back up again. About halfway through that, I really, yeah, just became very aware of my thighs. I'm gonna really feel it tomorrow. I'm sure. I mean, I'm feeling it already, but uh, yeah, it's a bit stretching. <laughs> Yeah, my first real, my first real yoga, I call it. Um, it just what the doctor ordered. It's also the most peaceful like activity that we've done as yeah. well. It was quite yeah. nice to just yeah. sort of, even though we were stretching and, and there was, you know, not necessarily pain, but heat. It was, uh, it was, it was actually really peaceful. Mm. It was nice. With the basics that we've got in hand, I think we're going to be able to use that to choreograph a good sword fight and choreograph a good fist fight. And you know, the, with with what we've learned, I'm you know I'm feeling very confident going forward. The important thing is to know, you know, it's going to be six months, and to pace yourself because uh, 
you want to have the same level of energy and of commitment all the way through. I will only have fond memories of this week. I don't know that I'd have called it boot camp. I mean, when you hear boot camp, you'd think of kind of having to crawl your way through a stream and a tunnel lined with bits of broken glass and all that kind of first week in the army stuff. And it's absolutely not been that. I guess in a word, what's been good about the boot camp is everything. I think without the boot camp, we would be missing something. I don't think I realised before we began how necessary it was. It's going to contribute hugely to making this story a very effective one and a very entertaining one, no doubt.